Hey guys, it's nice to have the audio back and to be able to speak to you again. Um, before talking about this week's option pick, I want to go through some of the picks that we've chosen already. So we know when we started this journey, I picked a put on the spy because the market was moving down. I bought it on January 3rd at $974.66, and the market started going back up. So I sold it for $977.33. That was a gain of $2.67, or 0.27%. That put was really just a protective measure. Next, we got the Hershey Company. I bought the Hershey Company on January 8th and sold it on January 11th. Bought it for $1,236.66. I didn't like the way it was moving, so I sold it when it moved down to $1,049.33. That was a loss of $187.33, or 15.14%. Now, Hershey would later rebound and come back up where I could have got a gain. But if I'm holding options, they move so much that if I'm getting a loss, I'd just rather get out of it and not take my chances. Next one I got was UUP. For those not familiar, UUP is the US dollar index. I didn't like the way that this one was moving with the bid and ask, so I got out of it early. But I bought, well, we see two separate transactions, one for nine options and one for one. I paid around $1,050 altogether. And I sold it, bought it on the 12th of January, sold it on the 18th of January, six days later, for $1,263.36. That was a gain of $212.76, or 20.25%. Next, we had Yum China. And for those not familiar, as I told you before, Yum China is KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut, as well as other restaurants, but not in America, in China. In America, it would be Yum! Brands. Anyway, I bought it on January 23rd of 24 for $953.32. That was for two contracts. I sold them on February 9th of 24 for $1,338.66. That was a $384.34 gain, or 40.42% gain in probably a couple of weeks. Now, Humana, I did not have the money for Humana, but I told you guys about it in case you did. I had the money was tied up in other things in my brokerage account, but I made y'all aware of it and I told you you could get an option for $2,650 on Humana at the time it fell. Well, it wasn't um, a little bit later, maybe a week or two later, I told you guys if you bought that option and you sold it at the bid price, you would have had a $530 or 20% profit. If you sold it at the mid price, 
you would have had a $1,325 profit or 50% profit. Well, Humana has fallen again since. So, we want to watch them and see where they go. But there was a path for us to be profitable with Humana, although shortly. Now, I am, and I, I hope I can say we are. I hope there's a few of you others out there with me. I told you guys about air products and chemicals, and I bought that. And currently with air products and chemicals, we are up, or I am up, $789.62. That's a 59.78% gain in a few weeks. Whoa. Maybe 20 days. Now here's where it got a little sticky. I bought MGI ingre MP MGP ingredients on February 16th. However, MGP ingredients had an earnings report coming up. I warned you guys about it, and I sold out of it at a dollar and thirty-three cent loss, zero point fourteen percent. Very happy I did that. MPG MGP ingredients dropped after that earnings report. I could have almost lost everything that I would have put in that option. But I didn't. I got out just before. Well, afterwards, I picked MGP ingredients up again, thinking it would quickly rise back up. Unfortunately, it hasn't. So I bought it on February 23rd for $735.66. I sold it on February 27th for $580.34. That was a $155.32 loss or 21.11% loss. Notice I let my winners run, but the losers, I try to get out of them very quickly. So now we're up to the current option pick, the option pick that I picked today. Now guys, you're gonna notice in the YouTube channel that from this point forward, the option picks will be under this month's option pick. I will give one option pick a month. I've been giving every, all of them to you guys. I won't be doing that going forward. I will be giving on the YouTube channel this month's option pick. One option pick a month, probably in the beginning of the month. But we're not in March yet. We're still in February. So, there is still a this week's option picks. And I will be giving you guys this week's option picks. But, there is a condition. I have now created my Patreon channel. And if you want to receive all of the weekly option picks, you would go into the Patreon channel, click on the link that's on my home page of my YouTube channel. It'll take you to Patreon. And you will have three options. This week's option picks, $25 a month, upcoming news on stocks on the watch list, that's going to be $25 a month, and if you want a video call with Uncle Dwayne to ask whatever your questions are about investing, for $25 a month, you get two 
30 minute video calls will probably do a Zoom. Now, upcoming news on stocks on the watch list. That's going to be extra stuff that's not covered in the analysis. In the analysis, I cover all of the financials on the stock. But what I don't go into is risk factors. What I don't go into is news or upcoming news about what the company is planning to do in the near future over the next few years and things of that nature. So those will be that analysis included. In any event, this is the Patreon channel. And if you guys still want those this week's option picks, just go into the Patreon channel and sign up. The first seven days are free. And this week's stock winners stays the same. Nothing's changing with that. In any event, guys, it was great being able to speak to you again. Have a great day, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.